Hello, today we are going to be talking about how to store stable diffusion using Google Colab. Stable diffusion is a generative model mainly used for image generation and video generation and can be used for free by anyone. I already made a video on how to store stable diffusion on Mac locally, but stable diffusion is computationally expensive, so sometimes can be very slow. That is why today we are going to use Google Colab to install it on the GPU instead of locally on your computer. Google Colab or Colab is a cloud-based platform which allows you to run Python code on a Jupyter notebook environment. There are many advantages for using Google Colab. The first one is for free. You don't have to install softwares or libraries on your computer locally, which can be time consuming. And it's very good when you are collaborating on a project because you can share the notebook first and second, you can work on a project on real time. So let's get started. This is the notebook we need to open. The link is in the description below. The first thing we want to do before starting is to make sure that we are running our code on GPU. To do that, we go into runtime up here, change runtime type, and then you need to make sure that this is GPU and save. Great. So now let's have a look at this notebook. We have different sections. We have install update automatic 1111 repository. We have some requirements to install. We have the model download. We have control net extensions and we have start stable diffusion. Great. This notebook is quite straightforward, but let's have a look together what each section does. Before going into installation process, we need to connect Google Colab to Google Drive. And this is what this code does. Before running it, make sure that you are connected to the right drive. I mean, if you have more than one Google account, as I do, make sure that you are connected on the Google account you want to use for installing Stable Diffusion. To do that, you just go onto your drive and then here, on top right, you have Google account. If you click here, you have different options and you choose the one you want to use. You connect. Once done it, we can run this code. This will tell me this notebook was not authored by Google. That's fine, we can run anyway. And then it's gonna ask us the permission to connect Google Colab to Google Drive. We click on connect to Google Drive. You just follow the steps you allow, done. It says mounted at content Google Drive. So now if we download something, it's going to download that inside this folder here. If you want to change this folder, you just need to change this direction here. Then the next step is to install or update in case you have it already, automatic 1111 repository. If you want to look at the source of this repository, you just go into show code here and then you can see here there is an URL address. You can click on this and then you will see that this is the GitHub repository where we have Stable Diffusion Web UI. So usually when we install Stable Diffusion locally on our computer and we use the terminal, we would git pull or git clone initially and git pull after using this link here. So what this code is doing is simply git cloning or git pulling, but in our drive. So let's run this, done. The next step is to install some requirements for stable diffusion. If we look at the code, again, there is an URL. We can click here to see which are those requirements and we can see they are libraries and tools we need for running Stable Diffusion. For example, we have here Google Perf tools, which are a set of tools for performance profiling and memory checking. And we have one, two, three of them. I don't want to go into many details, so let's go back. We run this. Cool. Next step is to download the model. 
Here you can choose the model version you want to download. You have different options. You have version 1.5, version 1.5 in painting, version 2.1, version 2.1. These two are older than version 1.5, so I will go for the 1.5. A very useful one is uh, 1.5 in painting if you want to do in painting. With in painting, you can modify your image using a mask. You can fill in missing parts or damaged parts of the image using information from surrounding pixels. So it's quite useful when you want to adjust or improve your image, adding the details or removing details. You also have the possibility to reinstall the original model by clicking this checkbox. Otherwise, if you have your own model, if you trained your model, if you fine-tune the model and you have the path for this, you have a folder in Google Drive, you can simply insert the path here. Or if you have a link to a model, you can insert this here too. In this case, you also have the possibility to use safe tensors instead of checkpoints and to use a temporary storage. For who doesn't know what safe tensors are, these are the equivalent of checkpoints with the difference that they cannot have malicious code. What do I mean? With checkpoints, you may run things you don't want to be running, but with safe tensor, as the word says, they are safe and you can load share notebook with other people and the code is safe. In addition to that, they usually run quicker than checkpoints. So it's good to use them, in my opinion. So once you're happy with the model chosen, you can run this code. If you want to have more information of what model you want to download, you can go into Agin Face. To have a look at them, you can click on show code. And again, you have different URLs here. You can look for them in the code. So in, in my case, version 1.5, this is the URL. If you click on this code, it will direct you on Hugging Face and you have all of the information about this model, when it was developed, what database was used to train the model, who developed it. So it's quite interesting. Let's go back to our notebook and let's run this. Okay, and this is done. Now, if we go back to our drive, we can see that we have a new folder under my drive, which is called SD for Stable Diffusion. And if we click into Stable Diffusion Web UI, you can see we have all the folders from GitHub. If we go again into Models and then Stable Diffusion, you can see here the model we downloaded. It's called model.ckpt, which stands for checkpoints. Let's go back to the notebook. Okay, next step is to install ControlNet extensions. ControlNet is a neural network structure to control diffusion models by adding some conditioning. What do I mean? So usually, very briefly, we have an input that goes into a model which generates an output. Now, in the case of a diffusion model, in particular in the case of a text-to-image, the input will be the text, so the description, the prompt. And the output will be the image, which is based on the prompt. So we have, and we have image here. Now, with ControlNet extension, what we do, we add an additional input in the model. So we'll have conditioning. Now, this conditioning can be different depending on which extensions we are using. There are different types of extensions. A very common one is Scribble. With Scribble, we input inside the model a sketch of an image and then the model will generate an image more realistic of that sketch. For example, if I have the sketch of a cat face, we can probably make one quickly. So 
something like this. I know it's not very nice, but that's why we are using a diffusion model. And we input this picture inside the model that the model may generate something nice based on the sketch, something like this lovely cat. Cool, so if we go back to our notebook, we can see here a different type of control net extensions. I'm not gonna go into that on all of them, but I think it will be useful to, to know what they are. Maybe I can make another video to explain each of them. So for now, I'm going to install all of them. So let's run this. Okay, done. And now the final step is to install Stable Diffusion. If you have a Gradio interface account, you can insert your user and password here and connect to Gradio directly. Otherwise, you can just run the code. This is our last step and that's it. So we are now connected. You can see that from here. You just need to click on this URL and we have Stable Diffusion now running on GPU which is great because it's gonna be way faster than uh, when you have it locally. Okay, that's it for today. This was a very quick tutorial. If you have any question, if you want me to explain you better how to do whatever with Stable Diffusion, just let me know in comments. I hope this was useful and see you at the next video. Bye.